YouTube. This is Crystal Star Witchery, Lisa speaking. Um, I'm here to talk about uncrossing. Uncrossing is a ritual that is done by um, by hoodoo people, root workers. Um, it's done by witches. It's done by sorcerers. It's not as well known as probably should be. A lot of people, you know, do their work to banish negativity, but they're really focusing mostly on what's going on out there, keeping negativity away from you. But a lot of negativity starts right up here and within. So, um, basically, being crossed, to me, my definition is when basically you curse yourself or if you let circumstances get to you and you start manifesting negative emotions and negative thoughts that start to affect your life. So an uncrossing which was basically to reverse that and to get you back on the right track. It, I use a seven day candle and I have a formula for an uncrossing oil, which you can use in the candle, and you can also use um, on your person, on yourself, um, as like a an anointing oil. Um, so let's get started with that. I have here a carrier oil, which is safflo safflower oil. Um, you can use any carrier oil, but this is what I have on hand. Um, I have Palmarosa essential oil, which is for good vibrations and healing. Hyssop essential oil, which is for cleansing. Bay, which will um, refocus your energy into a more positive direction. Rosemary, which is overall good for a lot of things, but it's good for cleansing. It's good for um, banishing negativity. It's good for healing. So this is, these uh, oils work together to balance you back to where you're supposed to be, back away from that negative mindset, that that manifestation of negative circumstances through you know the things that go on in your head or the things that are coming at you you know instead of worrying about all that out there instead of um, being anxious and depressed you this will rebalance you now I'm not talking about a cure for anxiety and depression that's you're going to have to talk to your doctor about that. I'm sorry. Um, but this will help you along the way as you're going through your healing journey. If you have anxiety and depression, it will help to um, it'll help with the metaphysical side of things. I'm going to add just a little bit of Palmarosa. I wish I had a dropper bottle for this but I don't, so I'm going to add a cap full. Um, I'm going to say about five drops. Palmarosa. About the same amount of hyssop. The classic formula uh, that I've always worked with, before, that, that's um, more um, basic, it's a little easier to get a hold of, is Lavender Bay and Hyssop. Um, but uh, Bay. I'm out of lavender oil, to be honest. And. I would like 
I would add, I'm going to be adding some lavender buds. However, this is a great formula. I really love it. Rosemary. I'm going to add about five drops of rosemary. Woo! Maybe that was six. I don't know. Whew. Goes quickly. You got to watch it. Okay, what I have here is lavender buds. And this right here is lemon balm. Lemon balm is, oh, it's so good. So good. Melissa is what it's called. Lemon balm is just a really positive, good luck, um, re-energizing, refocusing herb. Lavender, you know, is great for cleansing. Poke root. Now, I gathered this myself. Um, poke. If you ever seen a poke berry plant, uh, poke is um, has these red stems, um, more like pink or fuchsia, magenta. You know, kind of like my lipstick. And it um, has these berries that when you crush them, they it's almost like ink. And I've used poke for ink, but it has this huge root. And I gathered the root, and I broke, an, I broke the root into smaller pieces. I needed a piece small enough to fit my bottle. So there's my poke root. And here is my lavender and lemon balm, which I'm going to make a huge mess here. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there because I'm going to put the rest of this lavender and lemon balm in the candle. And this smells terrific, guys. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to shake it up here. And um, I'm just going to focus my intent into the bottle for cleansing and uncrossing and refocusing, rebalancing. Banishing all that, those negative thoughts banishing those negative emotions inviting in peace and positive vibes good energy and so got that in my bottle now just Looking at how pretty it looks right now. Already starting to feel really good just from the smell. Okay. So, this is just a basic white vigil candle. Got my long piercing stick. This is a, this is just basically a thorn. Yeah, big, huge, long thorn from a honey locust tree, which I turned into sort of a wand. See my skull? Yeah. And I use this wand for not as like directing energy kind of wand, but more like for poking holes in my candles, like this, just like that. You push it way down there, and it works great for that. You can use a chopstick or a skewer. Um, you can use an ice pick. I'm going to put four holes. And I'm going about four inches deep. If you can go deeper, you can You can do that too. But I, this is starting to wear out the end right there. It's. I'm afraid it's going to break, so I'm. I'm trying to be careful with it. I love this tool, but I think I'm going to have to make another one pretty soon. Honey locust has is is one of those trees that, when you see it, you're like, what the fuck? Because it's got all these 
huge thorn. She's going everywhere. And okay, so I've got the four holes. And this is just so that the oil will sink down further into the candle. I've got all this extra wax. I'm just going to make sure that's in the candle. Okay. So now I'm going to take what's left of my herbs that I didn't put into the oil. I know a lot of people will... Um, will empower or enchant the herbs and the oils individually um, I like to do it when it's more of a finished product that's just my way of doing things um, that's why I, I went ahead and added all my ingredients before I empowered the oil because the oil itself it's like a new being it's like combining all those plants and their plant energies into a kind of a spirit that that you've created. I mean, the plants, the plants are, have their own spirit. And they, you know, the essential oils and the dried plants, they carry an essence of that spirit with them. So I feel like they're already empowered, already sacred. But when I add them together and I empower it with my intent, um, it's like creating a new new creature. So, I'm gonna go ahead with the oil. I love this oil. I already just, mm, I already feel how powerful it is, and how it's gonna help me deal with some things that I've been going through. Um, I have anxiety. I get depressed. I have regrets and guilt and things like that that really weigh on my mind and um, it's really unproductive and so what I'm going to do the, these guilts and these feelings that are manifesting in my life I'm going to heal from those so that I can go forward around let that oil drain down into the candle now the candle it's got the oil in it that's been empowered I'm going to empower the candle because the candle is a new creature too and this candle is going to work for me and um, it's going to it's going to work on banishing my negative emotions, my my fears and my worries, my anxieties. Um, it's going to help me look at life in a more positive way. It's going to get rid of the things that I've been manifesting that, that I don't want to manifest. It's going to help me refocus my life on things that are more productive for me. There you go. Now I'm going to take my little pokey stick. I'm going to push some of these herbs away from the wick. Because I don't want to drown the wick in too much herby goodness. I want those herbs to be more on the edge. More down in the holes. Because um, I don't want anything, you know, that I don't want them to catch on fire for one. And then I don't want them to smother the flame either. So, yeah, there we go. Oh my god, it smells so good. So it looks more like this now. Um, I didn't even bring a lighter. Hold that thought. I'm such a space head. Yeah, I really am. I'm like a total space cadet. But... Okay. I call upon flame. 
seriously. <laughs> I think this flame is on its last leg, but it's going to work for me. Oh, yes, it is. Look, I'll lit the candle. I call upon this flame to light my path, to banish negativity, to banish my negative thoughts. To banish the things that I have been manifesting that I do not wish to manifest. I call upon this flame to light my path and to heal me from anxiety and depression. To bring forth positive energy and positive thoughts. To bless my home to bless my body, to bless my mind, to bless my spirit. I empower this flame with my intent. So mode it be. Now, for seven days I will be burning this candle. Um, in an ideal situation, I will let it burn constantly, but since I do have a job, I can't stay here and watch the candle all the time. I don't want to have to worry about burning my freaking house down. So, that's why I have a candle snuffer, and I will be putting it out on leaving the home. And that is my little uncrossing ritual. It's very simple. Um, you don't need all those ingredients. You can, in fact, create a much simpler recipe by getting a little bit of oil from your kitchen and mixing in some bay, some rosemary, and some lavender. Um, some other herbs that you can use are lemongrass, um, frankincense, uh, sink of oil, rose, um, you can add sea salt to your oil, um, yarrow which you can usually find outside if you know what to look for. Um, you could add crystals to your oil. You could add um, citrine, which we all know is, is very clearing of uh, transforming negative into positive. Um, oh, tourmaline, which is very protective. Uh, clear quartz always a good choice um, what else what else do you use you could even use coffee use coffee um, spearmint spearmint or peppermint uh, would go good in that, you know, just look for your cleansing and balancing, healing, refocusing type herbs. And you can do your own research. You can come up with your own formula. You don't have to use my formula. This, this is my formula. This is a formula that I created myself based on my own research. Um, for years, I used somebody else's recipe. Um which which worked fine but one day I decided to create my own and it's been working for me just fine and all you have to do is get to know your ingredients and look for the qualities that you want and the correspondences it's not it's not difficult it just requires a little bit of research and you can do that um, I would say go with your gut feeling, and that's great, um, but also do your research too, because I think that traditional associations 
um, can be very informative because if you if you've not quite reached the stage where you can feel the energy in the plants yourself get to the point where you could talk to the plants and hear what they have to teach you then uh, learning the the traditional correspondences is very helpful in that um, do what's right for you thank you for watching and I am so glad you tuned in I would love 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 to hear from you it would really make my day I love getting questions and I love corresponding with people who are interested in the craft and spells it just I, I love spellcraft it's my favorite thing so there you go everybody have a wonderful day and catch you later bye